What do you think about quality versus quantity on YouTube? What's the best route to take? Should you post more or should you post less but higher quality stuff? So Alex Ramosi would say it like this. I would rather have quality over quantity, but quality quantity beats just quality. But the only way to get to quality is by quantity. Drop the mic. <laughs> Say that, break it up, say that one more time. Give me the first line. I would rather have quality over quantity. Right, you'd rather have something that's better than right. having a ton of crappy YouTube videos. Right, better always wins. Uh, Mr. B says it very similar but different. He it's goes, big. he was like, you should, he goes, you could spend the same amount of time making one video that was way mm. better and get 10 million views rather than making like 100 videos that all get 100 views. He's like, you get more views, same amount of effort, same amount of time. So it's like quality, on YouTube is going to perform better than bad quantity. Right. I, I even like, dude, Alex Ramosi's like framework for his YouTube videos. He told me he was uh, using my studio, slight little flex, but he was using the studio and we were talking outside and I was like, dude, what is your content thing? He's like, here's, my, here's what it is. Make the videos that only you can make. Yeah. And then you're good. So can you get inspiration? Sure. But like, if you really put in the work to a video that's intended to get a lot of views or you're, mm. you're just, you're actually making a one of a kind video. And then you actually no longer have competition. Before th this, I was, I just made a, um, a microphone review video and I, I was shooting, I was shooting B-roll of the, the three different mics we were, I was reviewing. Mm -hmm. And as I'm shooting, as we were shooting the B-roll, I was like, nobody is taking the time to shoot this demonstration type of B-roll. Like, mm -hmm. like this video is going to be one of zero. And so it, that is a good frame. Can you be the only person delivering the type of content that you're creating? That's like a good strategy, a good way, a good, I guess, train of thought or framework to think from. Real quick on that, I love that, but you almost need to go a step before that and go, what can I do or accomplish for, like Alex Ramosi built a hundred million dollar company. He can now talk about that and make content on that. Yeah. That's sick. And he's doing, you know, so it's like, what can you work on, you know, or what have you done that you can talk about that's like, not a lot of people do. Right. So I mean, yeah. So there, there's that side yeah. to it. There's like, actually, what have you accomplished in yeah. life? Share that. Yeah. He would say, wait till you actually accomplish something to start yeah. sharing. I would, I would document. I would document. Like, why yeah. not? Why not show the journey? That's still yeah. only content that you can make. Because and it's, in it's a your way, journey. he's also doing that now 100. of documenting his journey to becoming a billionaire. Right. So it's like, just start where you're at. Yeah. And document your evolution. Yeah. That's really cool. I love that. So for me though, I would just go quality. I see what my podcast is doing and it, and, and the last four releases have been one out of tens, which is like a YouTuber's dream. Right. And that just means that it's performing better than your last one did. Like say, you know, you check in, it's like first four hours, this is performing the best, out of the more views 10. than your last one. So you keep one upping yourself the yeah. past four episodes, which, which cool. communicates this because like, we'll make a fire video for think media and that, that mug will get 10 out of 10, <laughs> but we just are like, okay, a year from now it'll be popping. Sure. It's like, it's a different yeah. strategy. Yeah. Yeah. But what I know is happening is I'm building a, I'm building an audience that is just waiting for the next drop. I remember when I did this with like a few creators, like Matt Diavella, uh, Peter McKinnon, like mm -hmm. there was people that were just waiting for the next drop. And when you build yeah. that way, you really can, be, I mean, that's, that's a true audience, you know? And, and so I feel like that has happened by how much work I've put into the quality of the conversation, but also the production value. And, uh, and so, yeah, I, I do think quality matters. People can feel it. I always like to say excellence isn't having the best. It's doing the best with what you have and more than excellence being seen, it's felt. People can feel when you give something your effort or your all. Hey, really quick, I just wanted to share with you something very cool that we're doing at Think Media, which is a free YouTube challenge. We're gonna show you guys how to get your first 1,000 subscribers and make your first $1,000 on YouTube. Click the link down in the description and join thousands of people in this challenge if you really wanna take YouTube seriously and learn how to make money from it. We'll see you guys on the other side in the challenge. Okay, back to the video. I do wanna talk about the quantity aspect, because I think beginners should do quantity over quality, but to just nail in the, why I also agree, eventually you should strive for quality uploads. When you think about brand deals can be a huge part of a creator business. So if you're a creator 
and you're able to, and you have a niche audience and you're able to pull in 20, 30, 50, 100,000 views per video, you can get paid a lot by brands to shout them out. And maybe their brands you already love and stuff and it's like a perfect collaboration and like brand deals can make you a lot of money. It's a big part of our Think Media business. That really works with like quality. Yeah. Because if you just post a ton and you're not getting a ton of views or they're a bit inconsistent, brands aren't going to pay you as much. But if you're consistently nailing like, yeah, you know, 100,000 view videos, you can charge just exponentially more than if some get 100,000. Yeah, the predictability. So I think like long term, especially as you start getting brand deals and doing stuff like it's a it makes a lot of sense financially as well. The thing is, and it was that last part of your quote that Alex said, which I totally agree with, you get there by doing Dude. quantity. Yep. You can't actually make great stuff until you've made a ton of bad stuff. Good. So I think about Madeline, my wife, she's doing Vlogmas. And I've already feel like there's a difference in her day five upload versus her day one upload because every day she's filming her day, she's editing it and putting it onto YouTube. And when you go that intense and and that many reps, you naturally just get better. But the thing is people are scared to post bad YouTube videos yeah. that they never start because it's public. Yep. But the irony is that's what's required to become great. I think that's really good. And I think what's funny about the quality conversation is I think people's brains go to potentially production value quality. But I think yes. you can create quality, like the, the contents of your content can be quality and it could be shot on a smartphone. Yep. So that means what the actual, what you're actually saying on video, what you're actually showing on video, it's there's there's a quality aspect to it. And I always, one of the things I always like to say is that the internet could spot a fake but it also, I feel like could spot a you know, could spot yeah. quality. And you know, I think that's what's happening with my podcast yeah. is that these conversations aren't about nothing. There's actually, there's an actual agenda to it. There's actual, uh, you know, intention behind it. And I think because people are gravitating and they're sitting and they're listening, it's, it's quality. And then, and quality over time lasts. That's just the principle that when something mm -hmm. is of quality, it'll last over time. So it's worth putting in the work, even if you don't have the gear and stuff to make quality content, uh, yeah. even if it's Vlogmas, like putting in the work to make sure that these are quality and you're gonna have this timepiece for the rest of your life yeah. living on YouTube, which is really cool. Yeah. Now, if you guys are just getting started on YouTube and you want the roadmap on where to go to actually have a successful YouTube channel, then check out this conversation I had with Omar and we'll see you guys in the next video.